Hey, how you doing? It's Jeremy from the Seas of Liberty podcast here uh, live in New Hampshire at Fiend Fest Somalia. It is now Friday. Uh, I got in last Saturday. I was supposed to be shooting videos all this week for the Seeds. Unfortunately, Sprint doesn't work in these parts of the world, so uh, my Ting service, I'm lucky I get text and uh, phone service, no internet, um, so no way to send these videos out. So, I couldn't keep them all stored on my phone, and I've been having way too much fucking fun. Um, hanging out with here with the fiends has been spec fucking tacular. Uh, I finally got to meet uh, a lot of the people that I've been working with for the past six months or so. Uh, got to hang out with Lou Fien, uh, Yak Boy Nick Hazelton, Chandler St. Pierre, Diana Kyler, Derek J., uh, Hugo Gonzalez popped in for a little while. Um, and we saw the quasi-return, uh, not really a return of the show, but uh, Davi Barker stopped by and joined us on a lot of the shows, and that was awesome, because I've never got a chance to speak to Davi, and uh, man, I've had the best time with him. <laughs> I've seen every sunrise since I've been here. Um, we uh, partied all night long, and we did the Fiend shows, Sunday night, Monday night, Tuesday night, Wednesday night. Um, and then Wednesday night after the feed show, we did an after show. Um, and then last night, I took part in the second annual Dawn of Freedom, hosted by Mr. Brett Vinat of the School Sucks podcast. And I got to hang out with him and Daryl Becker and my boy Nick um, and Lou and Derek. And uh, it was a heck of a lot of fun, man. We, uh, we did a nine-hour show all together. Uh, I sat in for about four and a half, five hours of it. Uh, I was there the whole time, but uh, I waited till Lou needed to take his old ass to bed, and then uh, I, I took over for him. Um, but that was pretty intense, because uh, I'm averaging like two or three hours of sleep a night. Um, and uh, after running on two or three hours of sleep from the night before, and then being up for almost 24 hours, including do it, being part of a nine-hour show, it'll take a lot out of you. But there's too much fun to be had here. Um, yeah, it's, uh, it's been great. Also got to see a lot of the, uh, some of the guys from, uh, the Seeds of Liberty group. Um, some people that I've gotten to know over the past year or so. Daniel Quinlan, Adam Hasington, Craig Shute. We've been hanging out all week. It's been freaking great. Got to see my buddy Nolan, the guy who introduced me to volunteerism and then ran his ass off to New Hampshire. But he's here. And, uh... It's just been a great experience. I mean, according to all the rest of my buddies here, this is uh, weak compared to uh, past years. Uh, light turnout. Uh, but for me and people like Nick, it's our first year. We don't know any better. And uh, I like more low-key events anyway, so this has just been great. I'm uh, just getting to hang out, you know, camp in the woods, good conversations. Uh, drank beer for the first time in two and a half years. Um, that's been a lot of fun and uh, may or may not have partaken in some psychedelic experiences. Um, well, actually, I shouldn't even say may not, because that goes out on the air. Uh, I was uh, tripping on mushrooms the second night of the show this week for the Freedom Fiends. Um, that was a pretty cool experience. Um, had a really cool experience with it last night, too. So, overall, this has been uh, pretty much everything I was hoping for. Uh, been great if I could have had my kids here with me. Uh, that didn't work out this time. Would have been cool if I could have brought Murder Dog along too, but eh, responsibility, you don't want to have too much of that up here. So, like I said, this is, uh, has been a pretty cool experience. Uh, not sure if I'm going to do it again next year. I think I'm going to turn my focus towards things like the Midwest Peace and Liberty Fest um, out in Michigan. And uh, we've been talking about it for a while, but Dave and I, uh, we're really trying to get the uh, Seeds Fest up and running looking currently somewhere in the area of maybe Tennessee. So if we if I can get Dave off his ass and uh, we two of us can get motivated, maybe we could put together something for next year for a festival, possibly rivaling Porkfest uh, during the same time, a uh, more centralized location for people. I think it would be pretty cool. But uh, like I said, despite all the, the BS up here with the whole Ian Freeman kerfuffle and uh, the, the attendance being low, I've had so much fun, and uh, yeah, I just uh, wanted to check in and uh, let everybody know life is good right now.
All right. So this has been Jeremy from the Season of Liberty podcast. And uh, I'll catch you next week when I'm back for the show. Peace.